when you thought it was safe to go back in the high rise. Bam! Demons 2. Hi, folks. Uncle Bill here from Dead Pit Radio over at deadpitradio.com and into the Dead Pit and all kinds of that other shit. We're going to be talking about Synapse's release of the 4K of Demons 2, which is actually a pretty imitated film nowadays. Evil Dead Rise sucks. And uh, this is following in the footsteps of the Demons 4K that I previously reviewed. Same kind of thing. The quality is there. The picture is there. The sound is there. The features are there. The disc is impeccable, if you will. But Demons 2 is a Demons of a whole other breed, and I'll talk about that now, because the original Demons was kind of a watershed moment in horror films and splatter films. I mean, it's kind of hard to beat the original. It's like the original Evil Dead or something like that. Same type of thing, but Italian in this case. Demons 2 took place entirely in a high-rise for Sally's birthday party. Sally, in this case, being played by Corlina Cataldi Tassani, who is actually one of the more likable Italian actresses that I've seen in, in a lot of these movies. And she had a pretty brief career that was pretty good. She was in some pretty well-known films, including this one, too. And she plays Sally, who's having a birthday party, and it just so happens, and I never could really figure this part out. And watching it back, I still can't figure it out. She is watching on a TV screen a movie about demons. And uh, one of the demons comes through the TV screen and attacks her. And that's how she turns into a demon. And then she goes and has her birthday party where she proceeds to infect all of her guests. And they all begin to turn into demons too. And that is the start of a whole bunch of crazy shit going on in this film, which includes such things as demon dogs, demon babies, demons shooting up out of other people, little demon elfin creatures, uh, just all kinds of insanity. But it does have the same level of bloodshed and kind of like carnage that the first film does, but for something is missing in this film. And I don't know what it is. And it's not like it's an evil dead, evil dead two kind of situation where, you know, like the, the first film is more paced and the second film is just like insane kind of chaotic energy. It's not that that's not what's missing from this film, but there is something else. And I, I'm not sure what it is. I think that the confines of maybe like the sets that they had used in this film made it feel like a much smaller film than in the first one. So, uh, and I'm not sure what kind of budget that this one had as compared to the first one, but it does seem like it's a little bit toned down in pretty much every way too. But Dario Argento and Roberto Bava are back in terms of producer and director on this film. And, um, a lot of the cast from the original demons is in this as well, including Bobby Rhodes, who uh, plays like one of the uh, one of the main, I guess, heroes in the first film as well. But in this one, you've got a newly remastered 4K from the original camera negative in Dolby Vision as well. Uncompressed DTS HDMA, English 5.1 and Italian 5.1 audio mixes. Uncompressed D DTS HDMA, English 2.0 true stereo with theatrical mix. New audio commentary by film critic Travis Crawford. Bava to Bava interview with Luigi Cozy on the history of Italian horror, creating creature carnage with Sergio Stavoletti, demonic influences with Frederick, I can't even pronounce that name, the Demons Generation, Roy Bava discusses a legacy and lacerations, the new blood of Italian horror featuring Stavoletti, screaming for a sequel, the delirious legacy of Demons 2 with Umberto Bava, a soundtrack for Splatter with the interview with the composer Simon Boswell, and together and apart, a new visual essay on the space and technology in Demons and Demons 2, by author and critic Alexandra Heller Nicholas. So you open this one up and you've got what I thought was, this was pretty cool too. It's an invitation to Sally's birthday party uh, at the tower complex apartment 936, which, you know, the first one, the first demons comes with the Metropole uh, ticket. And this one is also, there is like a um, discussion about the transfer in this as well where it talks about this 4K presentation was scanned and restored at Le Majon Retrovada in Bologna. 
think it's Bologna or something like that, probably Italy, uh, utilizing the original 35 millimeter camera negative. Film grading in SDR and HDR, Dolby Vision was performed at Silver Salt Restoration. I love the fact that all these facts are in this as well. All original materials were made available by Intramovies. All of this is, you know, from the original camera negatives, from the original audio mixes. Um, it says, there are a few areas of Demons 2 where you may notice instability within the image. This is no fault of the film transfer or restoration, and these sequences are problematic because of a camera fault during the original photography. Digital restoration tools were used to minimize these issues as much as possible. Didn't notice anything like that when I was watching this. So that being said, maybe, here's the thing. This is a great transfer. It's exceptional again. Maybe it's because I watched the first one much more than I've watched the second one. But the first one just hit me a lot harder in terms of the transfer than the second one. And it's, an, the, you know, it's an older film and it just looks noticeably, uh, Demons, I mean, looks noticeably kind of more like it, when you watch other versions of it, grainier and more kind of uh, independent than Demons 2 anyway. So to see it remastered in the way that it was for this 4K that uh, Synapse just put out, that one just blew me away. This one is great. I don't have any complaints about it. I just didn't think that it was like, I don't know. I didn't think it was on par with the first one. Uh, and like I said, that could be because I've just been so used to seeing like certain editions of this movie of Demons, and I've watched Demons a million more times than Demons too. Uh, I was just absolutely blown away by Demons, and I'm I gotta say, like I haven't ever owned Demons two on anything, and I've, I mean, I've got the DVD of it. Let me rephrase it. I've never owned Demons two on Blu-ray, DVD, or Blu-ray or four K. So Demons two, like this is the version of this to definitely have. Um. It's it's not to me as good as a film as Demons. It has a lot of the same elements as Demons. It's just not as fun and crazy and chaotic. And there's not, you know, a group of punk a group of punks that show up right in the middle of the film for no reason, if only to be like killed and have cocaine snorted off their boobs. It just doesn't have that kind of charm. It does have a demon dog in it which is like a Benji dog that turns into a demon. It does have a dwarf, uh, elfin like, um, demon. Maybe it does have some crazy shit now that I think about it. But anyway, uh, great restoration, great special edition, great features on this film. Synapse. Look, when they put out stuff like this, when they put out films that, they know are like watershed films in the horror genre. You'll never beat them. You will never beat the quality of these films. I don't know any other company that does these restorations better than Synapse. I mean, Blue Underground is a close, like second behind in some of their releases. But man, like some of the stuff that they've released I've never really been one to just been completely blown away by picture quality and things like that in 4Ks, but I feel like they are one of the companies that does it right. And so bravo again to, to Don May Jr. and to Synapse Films, Jerry and all of them. God bless them. Demons 2. Demons and Demons 2 all the way. Buy it and buy it now. Buy both of them. Buy them together. By the time you see this, you should be able to buy it all. And do it because I said so, and I'm not out here bullshitting around. So until next time, join us at deadpit.com. I'm Uncle Bill. See y'all. I'd like to tell people to thumbs up the video, Uncle Bill. Would you? Yes. Thumbs it up with violence and fury and just l love everything about it. Right, Uncle Bill? Yeah. You hit the heart button, then you hit the ass button, then you can hit the go fuck yourself button. Follow that up with the I don't give a shit button. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. 
the hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Special thanks goes out to our supporters on Patreon. Do you know what kind of stuff you can get on Patreon, Uncle Bill, starting at only $1 a month? What's that? Access to every Dead Pit show since 2005. We got almost 200 fan commentaries that we've done over the decades. We have a literal jukebox full of songs and thousands of reviews. I don't even know how many shows are up on there now that we've done over the years. Hundreds of thousands. You need to figure this out now and subscribe to us on Patreon and YouTube and Instagram and help us to one million. The, the road to a million subscribers starts today. So deadpitonpatreon.com, join today. Tiers start at only a dollar, but I'd recommend at least the $10 tier. You can do 50. The stock market's crashing around us, folks, but send us money. 